right. Hi, everyone. Let's give everybody a few minutes to log in. Just want to give folks a couple more minutes. Um, you know, we had we had Dawn on earlier. I think Mary would have been on earlier as well. And does anybody know if Tessie was in any of the morning committee meetings? No. Okay. No, she wasn't. Oh, she wasn't. Okay. All right. We just had Dawn join us. Okay, well, I don't want to keep everybody too long. So we do have quorum. Um, hopefully, Mary um, or Tessie can join in a bit. Um, but I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Oh, Don just went off. Shoot. Okay, well, in any event, we do have quorum. Um, it's 1.03 p.m. on Tuesday, June 1st. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Go ahead and call the meeting to order. Um, I'll go ahead and introduce everyone and then I, I will ask, it looks like we have one member of the public um, to introduce themselves after. So I'm Onal Nathone, Chair of the Council. Um, here today we have Robin Kay, Keith Kawaoka, Makaala Kaomoana, Roy Abe, Mike Tulang, Stephanie Dunbar-Cole, and Mahina Tudor, um, members of the Council. Uh, from OEQC, we have Les Segundo, and we have our Attorney General, Kathleen Ho, here as well. Um, and I, I'm showing somebody, Cody Brooks, if you can just briefly uh, introduce yourself. That would be wonderful. How's it going, guys? Uh, Cody Brooks, uh, reporter for RTO Insider. I'll just be hanging out. Right. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. All right. So we'll see. Hopefully, Don can join back in. Um, let's see. That's, we're still working on meeting minutes, correct? That's correct. I am, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, and okay, looks like Mary just joined us. So we do have Mary Bajer with us as well as uh, Tessie Kinnaman. Okay, great. Hey Tessie, thank you. We, ju we just called the meeting to order. So I just introduced everybody, you folks are, are, are right on time. Um, okay, so I will go ahead and hand it off to Keith uh, to the director's report, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> I don't have a whole lot. Uh, as I said, the last meeting, HB 13 is still with the governor's offices waiting for his review. Um, Robin may share a little bit more light on it, but I don't have any more. Um, as far as uh, what continues after this, after I assume the, <clears throat> the bill will be signed, um, is still a question administratively how this will come about. So we're talking with um, OP to see how this all transacts um, from here on out. Um, in, in closing, I just wanna um, let everybody know that uh, I'll be retiring at the end of this month. Um, it's been a pleasure and uh, 
honor to uh, serve with you folks all these uh, past plus year. Um, so it, it's a kind of in a weird transition period, like I said. So everybody uh, kind of hang on to your hat for a little while and see what happens. But uh, I want to bid you everybody aloha and uh, hopefully our paths will cross uh, in the near future. Well, thank you, Keith. And, you know, we hope you do enjoy your retirement. It's been wonderful working with you as well. And thanks for uh, stepping into, you know, and help helping the council with everything during this time. Thank you all. All right. So does anybody have questions for Keith? It's our, since we, this is the last time we get him. Oh, Mary, go ahead. Oh, oh. oh sorry. Go ahead, Mary. It's under the I and O. I can wait for it till our turn on the agenda. Unless Keith's gonna leave the meeting. Oh no, I think Keith's gonna stay for this meeting, right, Keith? Okay. Okay. I, I wanted to um, Keith, can you um, elaborate a little bit? Uh, how, what's what's been the nature of the conversations you've had with OP? I know that it's we don't know what's going on. But have, have they been have they been substantive in terms of policy or just really technical in terms of bureaucracies and can you give us just a little bit of a window on that? Um, I, I know Mary Alice Evans, the director for Office of Planning, has been talking with <clears throat> the um, OHUC staff individually and as a group. Um, I've talked to Mary Alice as well. I, I think all the conversation has been friendly. Um, but not necessarily substances as far as how the transaction will go about administratively. I mean, this is all new for us. Um, so, you know, the governor has until this month to decide all the uh, comment and reviews on the various bills. So I think we, we need to exercise some patience here. I, I think everybody is in support of this, uh, this administrative transaction. So I don't see that as an issue, but until he signs the, the bill, you know, it's, it's still a question. Whether you've heard anything or not, I, I don't know, but that, that's all I've heard. No, the only thing we, and we'll talk a little bit about it later on, was that it, it, we're probably the, the low worry and the issue with the Land Use Commission move being the bigger worry. Right. But no, I haven't heard any, anything at all. I have no insider information. But. Okay, thank you, Keith. And thanks for working with us. It's been a pleasure. Good, good job. Thank you. All right, Mike, did you have something earlier? I thought I saw you unmute. Oh, you're still on mute, Mike. I'm fine. Oh, okay, just checking. All right, anybody else have any questions for Keith? All right, well, thank you. Oh, Maka'ala, go ahead. I just wanna say thank you too, Keith, and I'm hoping that the image you see behind me is one of your first vacation um, visits. We'd love to see you in, in Hanalei, so come come if you dare, come, <laughs> come, come if you dare the, the road and the, <laughs> the challenges, but... Um, I'm hoping that inspires you to get around Hawaii a little bit and and allow us to thank you in person because we would like to do that. Thank you, Makala. And, and you can bet travel is on my very top priority, not just for uh, the islands, but uh, all over. So once I deal with this issue, it's, it's definitely going to be where is Keith? He's gone. He's where is? He? But thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Keith. Okay, well, we'll move through this uh, meeting, um, so you don't have to spend too much more time with us. But yeah, again, thank you so much. We we really appreciate. It. I know it was a lot to jump into, on top of everything else that you're doing for Department of Health, and it's been a pleasure having you and um, just being able to connect with you. Okay, so Mahina, I'll go ahead and hand it over to you for the Rules Committee update. 
Okay, perfect. Sorry, I was just eating some one sun chips between meetings. Um, but yeah, I wanna echo, echo um, everyone's mahalo to Keith. Um, thank you so much for all of your work and time. Um, um, so for the rules committee, we had a meeting earlier today. Um, we spent some time in the beginning kind of discussing what the council, given all of the tr transitions happening, um, what kind of authority might stay with us, what might not. Um, and in those different scenarios, what other things we might wanna do with the rules um, in the future. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just keep it at that. Um, and then we spent some time diving back into our collective proposed edits to our procedural rules. Um, and we've been going through that section by section, um, making technical edits and doing some cleanup um, yeah, we got through a few sections there, just chugging along. Um, does anybody else want to add anything? No, but the, during the, um, strategic, some of our discussion from rules committee, maybe that might come up during the strategic planning, uh, agenda item as well. Um, because I think there was discussion you, you know, and, and I think Maka Allah and Don can maybe um, elaborate that, you know, we've, we've been getting, or certain members have been getting outreach by community members, legislators, um, other agencies, you know, asking for clarification on, you know, the council's role and, and what specifically we do and how we fit in with, you know, the different processes for chapter 343. So um, understanding that we may be going through, or we are in a transition period right now, um, you know, knowing that, you know, Keith will be retiring at the end of this month. And also with the, the expected move to OP, although it's not, it's not final. Um, though there will be a lot of moving pieces, but just thinking, you know, what do we do moving forward? Um, and how would we do, you know, would it be additional guidance, um, outreach, you know, education sessions for, the public or and agencies and whatnot on what what's the process generally what do we do and we had talked about this previously um, in terms of you know after the rules came out in 2019 um, OEQC did some training sessions specifically on the new parts of the rules for the exemption list because that was kind of that was the most pressing change for agencies in particular so maybe doing something like that again, um, but on a more general basis um, on the rules in general or, you know, just 343. So that might be something, you know, for the, the permitted interaction group to consider in terms of strategic planning. And of course, we'll have to coordinate that um, with OP if and when we finally do end up there. Any, anything else, Mahina? Or if anybody else from Rules Committee wanted to add to that? Okay. All right. Anybody have any questions on the Rules Committee update? No? All right. Thanks, Mahina. All right. So, Mary, I'll go ahead and um, pass it on to you for an INL update. Thank you, Madam Chair. Aloha, Keith. Travel safe, travel well, travel a lot. Uh, the INO committee is getting ready for our very first um, forum of the year. And so that was a, really the, the focus of, our, of our, uh, our meeting today. We did discuss the fact, um, Roy brought it to our attention that we have a, currently have a policies and procedures in place for uh, hosting or providing forums, hosting them, whatever you wanna call it. And that that was written when we were doing them all in person. And so we are gonna agendize for the next meeting um, in July of INO to look at the policies and procedures to intersperse whatever we've learned about doing it virtually. So if anyone has any thoughts about that, please send them to me prior to the July meeting so we could incorporate them appropriately. Um, and that's really the, the rest of our meeting was just you know part of our, all of our planning and work, whatnot. Um, Dawn did bring up what you just discussed, um, Onana, about um, that we might be looking at being asked to do some kind of a forum regarding, you know, when an EA, when an EIS, et cetera, et cetera. 
So um, we put that on our list of things, not that we're going to start planning it at this point, but just that it might be part of our workload. And we'll wait for your further direction. Um, let's see. Um, and that concludes my report. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Mary. Um, does anybody else have any questions or comments to add to the INL update? Okay, and Mary, can you remind us what when is the first forum taking place? It's on Wednesday, June 16th at from noon to 12:30. We have five panelists and we're very excited. You should be seeing the flyer any minute now. Okay, great. That was my next question is what when the flyer is going out. Okay. Uh, we have um, it's uh, I'm, I'm learning quickly that as soon as somebody agrees to be a panelist, mm -hmm. that I best ask for their bio and headshot because that seems to take people a while to mm -hmm. scare it up. So, right. Um, okay. Anyway, that's the. Great. And then um, since you folks did bring up the, you know, the procedures and everything, um, I, I trust wholeheartedly that you folks are able to handle that and take care of that. and that you have somebody kind of assigned to do whatever needs to be done that day so it'll run smoothly. Mm -hmm. We yeah. think so, we'll find out, but we think so. <laughs> We're, we have two more meetings of INO um, that Les will be noticing tonight for me, or I'm sending to Les by tonight for him to post tomorrow on okay. the 8th and 15th, mm -hmm. and um, just to make sure. So okay. we're good. Um, I think we'll be okay. Um, okay. I, I've been teaching on Zoom um, between 50 to 70 students and admitting them all on my own and that kind of thing. So, um, and uh, Mahina and Dawn are gonna handle the questions that come in via chat. Um, oh, I know what I'm forgetting. Thank you for asking questions. Um, in the past when we've done forums, our director, Scott Glenn was physically present to be kind of the, the greeter mm -hmm. MC and to welcome people to the event. Um, we would like to offer that opportunity to, um, Keith, would you like to do that since it'll be before you leave, before you retire as the head of OEQC? Or if you're not available, if we might ask our chair Onana to fill that role. And if you guys wanna jump and pull over it, I'll let you handle that outside. Oh, if Keith wants to do it, Keith can do it. <laughs> you know, depending on the time and then try to let me know. I'd okay, be glad I'll, to send, I'll send you a separate email. You and Anona specifically what time frame within our event we think you'd be mm -hmm. involved. Okay, sure. All right, thanks. Oh, and Keith, is there any, um, one of, uh, Roy's a good um, worry wart about things. And so he wanted to know if um, the, uh, and I mean worry wart in a very nice and kind way. Somebody needs to have that role. <laughs> Um, that uh, do we, because we're still attached to DOH, is there any, um, is there any uh, protocol that we have to follow to, with DOH to let them know we're doing this event? Or is the fact that you're here today knowing about it sufficient? Is there anyone we need to notify about it? I think the fact that I'm here and I'm aware of it is sufficient. Okay, great. And that does, in fact, conclude my report. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you folks for organizing everything. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a really great forum. And yeah, we look forward to seeing the flyer for it. All right. Anybody else have any questions on the INO report, questions or comments? Okay, great. Thank you. All right, Robin, I will hand it over to you now for the uh, strategic planning pig report sure yeah um i had hoped that we would have the results of the survey by today but we did not they're still working on it um it, it's actually even though it's one question it's probably a lot more difficult for them because it's a narrative because it is just one question so i mean we've seen a couple of um, it's an anonymous response so we don't know who has responded but one person uh, chose to send us her uh thought and it was a, almost a three-page document very thoughtful and very well thought out. So if we get more of those, we'll be in, in, in really good shape. Um, there are 37 responses so far. 
the, the invitation to participate was in the environmental notice, um, which goes to over a thousand individuals, according to Tom. Um, again, I don't know who responded to which call. Um, with Les's help and everybody here's assistance, and in particular Roy, we sent out an invitation to, I think, uh, Les, please correct me, but about 50 different individuals and organizations that we as the council thought should see this. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm 60. How much? 60? Yeah. Okay, so um, that was a really good list. Um, and um, I think 37, given the nature of the survey, um, is a good response, but we don't have the analysis quite yet. As soon as I get it, I will share it with everybody. Well, I'll give it to Les to share with everybody. Um, we talked a little bit about what to do with this strategic planning in, in light of um, the absence of any clarity on what happens to us. We think the date is June 21st for the governor to announce which bills he will veto. And as I mentioned to Keith, amongst our committee, we thought um, in particular our, our astute ears to the legislative process, Miss Mary on the Big Island, yeah, 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 don't throw it yet. Um, we, we sensed that, as I mentioned to Keith, the issue was really more the Land Use Commission and, and whatever else was going to OP, not just us. Um, and so we just have to wait and see. N none of us have any insight that I am aware of to, excuse me, what's gonna happen. I know Onana um, has had some conversations with Mary Alice Evans, but at Last time we spoke, it had not been a substantive conversation. It was really more of a let's get together and, and talk. And she probably is, I, I know her very briefly, but you know, there, there's no there there yet for, for her to have to speak with us. But the pig then talked about the best thing we could do is continue along, wait for the survey results, um, have another meeting as soon as I, as I get them uh, amongst the pig to come up with some, some thoughts on what we see. But basically to assume nothing and to just keep going. Um, if, if it was appropriate, we would include Mary Alice, I mean, this is all public information anyway, but to, to include her in whatever we receive from um, the, the survey folks. So that's pretty much it. We had um, Roy and Mike and Mary were there um, and uh, it was, that's basically what we discussed. Anybody in the committee wanna to add to that or correct? my interpretation. Okay. Any questions from anybody? Okay. Thank you folks for continuing to work on that. And, you know, we look forward to seeing the survey results. Um, that, sh that should be interesting to hear from, you know, just to hear about all the responses. So thank you folks for working on that. All right, anybody else, any questions or comments on the pig report? Okay, thanks very much, Robin. Uh, oh, go ahead, Roy. I can't remember which meeting it was in, but there was some question as to how to sign up for the environmental notice newsletter from OHUC. So let, right. let's, can, you, can you let us know? I don't know. I know I sent, you know, I signed up for a long time ago. I can't remember what's the procedure. I assume you go to the OHUC website it's a good newsletter. Oh. Hey, Les. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you did you hear Roy's question? Yeah. Uh, you uh, you can just simply uh, there's no form. You just basically send an email to us. You know, basically saying you want to be on with your email address, and you know, Tom will add you to the list. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Les. Okay, you're welcome. All right. Any any other questions on that or on the pig report? All right. Thank you, folks. Um, so, so next up on the agenda, I had just included, you know, an exemption committee update just in case. Um, Ron is actually on vacation this month, so we did not have an exemption committee meeting, uh, but we will be having one in July. Um, and then they're also, because session has ended, uh, legislative committee did not meet. Um, and I think we, Robin, is there anything else that we had to discuss sludge wise? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, so the next thing I had added on the agenda was just a general 
item for discussion of the transition to OP. And um, this was added just in case we did have anything else to update on you folks um, beyond what we already have. Um, yeah, Mary Alice and I have been exchanging emails. I believe she's on vacation right now as well. Um, and I, I, I've been told she has met with um, OEQC and OEQC staff. So we'll continue to um, keep in touch with her and, you know, to the, to the extent she wants to meet um, to talk about, you know, the council transitions, um, I'll go ahead and do that. And I believe she does intend to um, join our July meeting. So, so hopefully for the, the July 6th meeting, she'll be here. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, yeah, June 21st, I think that's the same date I had heard as well. And um, Kathy or, or Keith might know if that's, if it's a different date for Governor's Less for Vito. So, um, you know, it's another month of just kind of hanging in there, folks. I think everybody's done a really good job, you know, point, moving forward as best as we can. Um, and we'll, we'll see, you know, hopefully by our next meeting, we'll know where we are, <laughs> if we're still with Department of Health or if if we're with OP. So yeah, Kathy, do you have anything to add? I do not have anything to add. <clears throat> yeah, and thank you for joining us. I think you're on vacation as well. So I am, I'm in Wellesley. Thank you, <laughs> okay. All right, okay, well, I'll just open it up now for public forum. Um, if anybody else has any announcements, um, really quick meeting today. We didn't have much on our agenda. Our next meeting is again, Tuesday, July 6th. Um, I have it set, I think right now for 1.30 because I think we will have an exemptions committee meeting. If Ron doesn't need the full hour and a half for exemptions, then I'll go ahead and push our full EC meeting back up to one o'clock. Um, I think that might be a little bit easier for folks, but you know, I'll let you folks know next month when the agendas go out. Yeah, is there is there anything else from anyone? No. I just want to tell all of you that intend to travel like Keith, we just came back from the mainland. And all I can tell you is do every single thing that safe travels requires. And be anal, super anal, because it's so much work, but it's easy to pass through the lines. We came in through Kahului um, because we did everything we'd been told to. And those who didn't were in line at Kahului for two hours. Wow. So if you're planning to travel as soon as you're vaccinated or need to go or whatever, just do what they tell you, believe me. Good tip, thanks Robin. Yeah, and if anybody wants any, any secondary information or help, just email me. It was, it was um, quite the experience. I'll just add to Robin's, um, last week when I traveled to Oahu, they've switched the They've reopened both sides of the Hawaiian Air Terminal. So we're back to using the left-hand side when you're facing the security for check-in. And then they're also, that far left side is the TSA scan line. We're no longer over on the right-hand side by the family line. And that's, it, it was, apparently it was, that was the day they changed that. And it was a disaster. There were. They were, if you were not TSA and you happened to get in that line, or if you were TSA and went in your old line, even after standing in line, they made you leave and go get in the TSA line on the other side. So, and they have no signage to tell you that. You just have to know. So be aware. It's one other piece of advice. If you have the flexibility, um, United was the best coming from California. They were the most cooperative on Hawaii's rules and made it really that of 20 volunteers set up at United to for those coming back to Hawaii. And they put a bracelet on you and you walked right through the line. So just, if you have a choice, some of the others aren't doing that yet. Oh, good to know. All right, folks, anything else? Okay, well, Keith, once again, thank you so much. We really do appreciate all the hard work you've done uh, and spending time with us. Um, and I think we will maybe we'll see you one more time for the forum on the 16th. All right, and thank you, everybody. I'll go ahead and call the meeting to an end. It's 1.30 p.m. Tuesday, June 1st. Um, have a good, have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Monona. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. We go. Thank you. Oh.